people talk a lot about、uh, empowerment. They're asking us to, to be more like、uh, mentors and facilitators. But this、uh, mobile internet technology is actually doing is exactly that because. Now, as I said, students are really going outside of the campus, doing all kinds of extracurricular activities, and the most one of the most important、uh, parts of that in Japan is the um, um, the、uh, internships at the uh, many uh, different kind of companies and factories. And before,、uh, they they work like one month or three month,、uh, including some credit. But we didn't we really don't know what they are doing actually in the factory line. They do have some kind of comment and they write some、uh, town paper to us, but just that、uh, sheet of paper.、Uh, before all what we gave them, the students is just、um, a final score. It's, okay, you got the ninety five、uh, points on the test, so you get A. You you have a sixty, so you a C. And that's the only that、uh, that the data that in the transcript、um, that the students get. But in addition to that, we have created a system to assess the students、uh, as a whole person. Not and of course academic parts、uh, include all kinds of attributes, but also personal attributes are very important. Those company people really don't care too much about what, how many A's you have, or how many C's you have. They rather care about what kind of person you are, what kind of personal attributes, social skills,、uh, presentation, and what did you do in、uh, school for four years. But before, we didn't have any、uh, that kind of metrics we call it、um, to evaluate the students、uh, in uh, from a lot wider perspective, and that's what the,、uh, we just started doing.、Uh, that again, that one. Uh, really, kind of, in a sense, force us to develop that kind of different kind of assessment because of this uh, uh, mobile technology. That's a problem. I, I just want to reiterate. I, I think you touched on probably what is, in my mind, the fundamental challenge of mobility to, to education, especially higher education here, which is the always present, always present ability of students to get to the world of information in just a moment,、mm -hmm. both in and out of the classroom. Fundamentally, has to change the way we've thought about classes and lecturing for hundred, literally hundreds of years. And so,、oh. the the, fa the faculty member as a lecturer. On the stage, dispensing information that's going to be the core basis of an exam to see if you've memorized that information、right. is a model that just doesn't really work anymore. When my students say, I <laughs> when I talk about criteria for diagnosing a, psych a mental health disorder in my psychopathology class, and the students say, "But wait a minute," and question me from Wikipedia in a moment. Then I've got to think about again about what I'm doing, and when my assessments within the course were driven around regurgitating for me those diagnostic criteria that now they're going to carry in their pocket on a device, along with all the drug indications and the di differential diagnosis decision trees and the drug interaction considerations, it's a different world. It's、mm -hmm. a different world for them to practice. They won't have to have that stuff memorized anymore.、Mm -hmm. And so we think about then how to re-engineer re the class. Classroom to allow the things that really do engage students to take place. Mastery of content has always been, I think, our, our criteria, and mastery of content still matters at some level. But in many cases, we were doing that fairly well already, and I don't know that mobile devices. Make us do that any better? I think it makes it, in fact, a little less important for us to do that right during those class minutes. But that class time captured now to engage students with interactive, collaborative, active learning, etc., all probably themed around this idea that instead of dispensing to you information you can't get anywhere else, but from me or out of this book or these articles, now I've got to help you learn how to evaluate the 5.2 million hits you're going to get from Google, or maybe it's 100,000 anyway, if you search for. A term, and you're going to get all these hits, but they're not all valuable.、Right. And how do you, how do I weed, weed, weed through all of the thousands of hits when there's a problem with one of my dogs to find the ten that are there from a vet that probably give me good information about what decision to make and whether to go or stay and what to do?、Mm -hmm. So evaluating information now is probably our biggest challenge. Teaching students, mentoring students, and how to evaluate information,、mm -hmm. and to make efficient use of the technologies around them and in their workplace future. Is a much different world, and so that's.
that's the challenge we consistently try to lay out to faculty members is that you are, in a sense, facing extinction if you don't learn how to play. Mm -hmm. Even if you would like to turn off all the Wi-Fi on our campus, the students, in fact, are now bringing their own Wi-Fi with them. Three or four G <laughs> comes with them, and we can't turn it off. So we've got to we've got to change, or we're facing some real challenges. Yeah, I think that's right. And um, when you think about content. Um, and think about medical content, our students were already going out and looking at YouTube and looking at other resources. Um, but the way that the, the procedures are done at MCG are different than the way procedures are done at other universities. And so even though there's a wealth of information that's out there, it may not be the way that we want them to learn. So by providing them the content in a, in a way, in a mobile device, which is really their digital Swiss Army knife that they carry with them everywhere, we're just facilitating them. and. You know, that's part of the millennial learner. That, that's what we're really trying to embrace their way of thinking, their way of learning, and, and, and reaching them that way.